there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of First of Teen. This one is brought to you by Moving Player. And friends. Oh, so cute. This one's called Cosmophony, and this is the first 15. Let's just enjoy the trip. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hi, stranger. Please listen to me. The gods entrusted me with the control of the universe. I was supposed to maintain the harmony. I fail. And all the universe. Now I'm dead, imprisoned in this crystal, and nothing can bring me to life again. I'm trapped here until someone becomes the new guardian. Can you do the impossible? Can you restore the harmony of this universe? If you believe so, take my heart and prove you can do what I could not. Be the first to pass through the five fundamental waves to recompose the universe and choose its new destiny. This is the part of Cosmophony! Yeah! Quite trippy little intro there, isn't it? But yeah, this is gorgeous, wonderful lights and music. It's, uh... It's in feel, it kind of has a little bit of a very res or super hexagon kind of feel to it. So we're just going to take a wee listen to it and we try it. It's just, it's beat and rhythm based. It's just tunes, man. And moving to the right spot. Yeah, so there's a way to rewind. Um, so practice mode looks like it's interesting. Like this, this feels like those kind of like uh, even most of the basic rhythm games that are played now, even for what's that uh, guitar one, Rock Smith, isn't it? it? It does has that kind of feel that you're repeating sections and memorizing and just getting better and better at that one wee bit of the game. With the rotating placement of your character and the kind of like uh, very geometric shapes of it, it really does remind me of Super Hexagon, especially in the timing to the beat of it, which appears to be a little bit off in that training level, but of course, whenever you get into the proper game, it really, really kind of focuses itself down to actually being on the beat of the tune, because you're either playing to the end or you're playing to the beginning of it, like that's the purpose of it. And if it's actually just layering air, layer and layer on top of it, with well, a very simplified background, which is pretty much a uh, essential like a smoke flow in this particular case. I'm sure the more elaborate visuals go along with it in the later parts, but in this case, it's just it, this is just a, a simple beat rhythm game that I feel would work very well with a touch screen just to trace your finger around, uh, but still feels comfortable to play even if it's just a little bit fiddly in the actual gameplay on a gamepad. Yeah!
The only horrible fact of this game is the inevitable layer of failure whenever you actually do finally lose up here. And you have to start again into the newer part of the track. But yeah, the, um... Oh god, is that actually from the very beginning again? That's it. The, the musical games tend to actually have a flow dynamic to them that once you find that broken, it's very hard to either get back into that particular mood or to actually, uh, well, what's the best way to describe it, uh, to really jump back into the mode of play. It's always the reason why I find myself putting down those games and walking away. Once I've actually lost that rhythm or actually like, made or make mistakes again, then I just walk away from the game and just give myself another little break to go and think about something else. Maybe keep the tune in my head, but not be thinking about uh, direct matching movements. It's one of those things that I found whenever I really got into playing Rock Band and Guitar Hero back whenever those first came out. It just kind of, um, it sapped the joy out of it because it's like kind of like immediate annoyance whenever you weren't hitting the notes that you wanted to make. Sweet merciful Christ, that felt like a bit of a challenge. Okay, now we're back. I'm glad you found me. You can take my place now. You just have to kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Yeah, this has actually got its own level of a little bit of creepy going on in this. I can completely understand it. There's a lot more to this game, but obviously this being a first 15 minutes and a quick demo, you really don't get that much of a choice to get to see what you're going to do. I'm too afraid to die. Go away. <laughs> she wants to stop us. She can't stop us. We're going to take her. <laughs> She's the one that asked us to kill her as well, which is even more disturbing. And of course, the demo comes to its end. In the end of the trial version of Cosmophony, we end up being stuck like this. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you very much for coming to watch the first 15 minutes of Cosmophony here on Pastiche of Skin. It's a good looking game. It looks like a lot of fun. I really recommend it to anybody else to give it a try if you're going to try out the full game. If you like your rhythm games, it kind of ranks in there in that same vein as between, I don't know what, um, Super Hexagon or maybe a bit more like, um, it does have a very Tempest feel to it in the design of the game and the way it's actually played. It feels like a good old school Kyle shooter. In fact, there's other games I've played that have taken the mechanic of the one thing this game does and use it as a mini game in other games. So I really wouldn't, if you see it actually going on a sale price, it might be more worthwhile than picking it up just as is because I don't know how many levels are involved in it. If there was a really prolonged soundtrack, if there was actually like a lot of it, like a good solid 30, 40 levels of good music to actually work with and some of these really cool trippy visuals to work with, I'd probably be getting into it. But without that, I don't know. I just realized as well, looking in the smoke field of this as it gets whipped away, it's just like a, a compressing and twisting face and skull. Damn, man. You have to, when they start messing with water vapor and smoke, it just gets crazy. So guys, uh, this has been a first 15 hour pastiche of skin for Cosmophony. I can't really say much more than, guys, it's music, it's rhythm, it's a kind of like movement puzzler, I suppose, in a way. It's a memorization game, and it's available to play right now. So I recommend you go out, check it out, get at least the free demo to see what you think of it, and uh, try out the full game at some point. So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been Durham for Pastiche of Skin. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!